first question best wait do i have whipped cream on me <laughs> Welcome back to another vlogmas video today i'm gonna be doing the christmas q a which is 25 questions so i got my questions and i got my spiked hot chocolate if you guys want to learn how to make it make sure you watch my last video and let's get right into it first question best or worst christmas present mm, my best christmas present it would probably be something when i was a kid and i think probably like a bike or something you know something i could play outside with as an adult probably jewelry receiving jewelry is always a really nice gift so that would probably be my best and my worst um one time i had a boyfriend give me a comforter and <laughs> i said i needed it but i did not want it for christmas and it wasn't even that cute so we ain't together no more so you know but that was my worst Christmas gift. <laughs> and number two, real tree or artificial tree. I like real trees. Like growing up, we always had a real tree and I like the smell of it, but they're very messy. And I live in a building, so artificial trees just seem more, they are more, you know, they're more convenient for me. Okay, next question. What's the most expensive thing you've gotten for Christmas? It would be jewelry. Jewelry was the most expensive Christmas gift. What age were you when you last sat on Santa's lap? Santa, okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I had to be like not, my memory goes really far back, but I don't remember that. And I think like the last picture that I have on Santa's lap, I was probably like, I don't know, like four, five, I don't know. What do you want for Christmas? Oh. Mm, a good one. I hope my family's watching. No, I was playing. But um, I never really want a specific thing for Christmas any anymore. Like that was when you were a kid. You'd be like, oh, I want this. I want these shoes. I want, you know. But as an adult, like I just try to get exactly like what my nieces and nephew want. Or if I hear someone, you know, I love that say something they want, I want to give them that just because you know, you, you like them to be surprised and like open something that they really want or really like. So I like to pick out a good gift. And yeah, so I don't really ever want one thing one thing for Christmas. Like maybe my, but my favorite things to get is something that I need because who wants to buy something that they need? I just buy things that I want. So yeah, I feel like I have a lot. So anything I'm, I'm happy for to be honest and I'm not being corny like oh it's about giving but like really I, I really buy myself whatever I want so it's kind of difficult to really want something so you know but I mean there's so many things that I don't have so you know just take a good guess number six can you name all eight of Santa's reindeer uh yes I can Dasher Dancer Prancer Vixen Comet Cupid Donner Blitzen mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I don't even know what song that is but i just know that the reindeer that helps me memorize the reindeer comment down below if you know that song because i don't know the rest i just know the tune but yes that's all eight reindeer rudolph you know he just helped that one night so he ain't really reindeer next question when do you start christmas shopping okay so i started i honestly just been getting things here and there when i'm out but um, since I'm going to have an early Christmas with my family this week, so I pretty much got what I needed to get for them. Um, there's still a lot of stuff that I need to get though, so I'm kind of a last minute person. I try to be early, but it never works out that way. And you know, Christmas shopping isn't fun if there isn't a little pressure. Like, you know, you have to get the gift. So I'm kind of a last minute person. And actually a lot of stuff, you get online, like, I know everybody shops on Amazon right now. So. How much do you spend on Christmas? Okay, that is a little personal, but I don't really have a limit because most of the things that I know, people that I get, you know, I could get that for them. So yeah, I pretty much just try to get, you know, what people want that I know. 
So I don't, I wouldn't say there's an exact limit like I need to spend this much or I just kinda, you know, I know when December comes, I'm gonna be spending a lot of money, so. Number nine, have you ever believed in Santa? When did you find out he wasn't real? Well, yeah, I think everybody did when they were a kid, but I don't know, the story isn't really that believable when you think about it. So I would say maybe like seven, eight, you kind of know your parents put their name, you know your parents bought the gift. I mean, it's still fun though, like even when you don't know, I mean, even when you know there's no Santa, it's fun to like watch your parents try to be sneaky and put the tree, be nothing under the tree, but then in the morning there's a bunch of gifts. So like the whole thing is like a fun thing, even though, even if you know there's no Santa, you know? So I don't really agree with people trying to make it not fun. Like, oh, tell them Santa's not real. Like it's, it's, it's a fun game, you know, just go with it. Santa brought it. 10, do you travel for Christmas? Um, yeah, usually I am in California. Hopefully when COVID is over, our family could do something like big, like go to an island for Christmas or something. I'm always at my sister's house usually for Christmas because they have the kids. So yeah, I'm always in California for Christmas. What's a gift you wanted so bad as a kid but never received? Okay, so this is gonna sound weird too, but there was really nothing that I never got that I wanted but never got, cause it was always like something easy to get. And my parents were not like rich or anything. Like when I grew up, I grew up with my dad and stepmom. Like they did not, they were, you know, just two people working a job, but somehow they managed to get everything that we wanted. So there isn't really a gift that I never, no. Nothing that I really wanted, you know, if I wanted rollerblades, I get rollerblades. If I want a bike, I get a bike, you know? So, Luckily, and I'm happy to be able to say that. 12, something people love about Christmas but you hate. Hmm, I don't know, maybe eggnog. I've never been an eggnog person. Even when I wasn't vegan and I just didn't, I was vegetarian, didn't eat meat, like eggnog, I just didn't like eggnog. Favorite Christmas candy or cookie? My favorite Christmas candy is gonna be um, candy canes, of course, because you really only eat those on Christmas and I like them. And favorite cookie would be gingerbread. I still haven't even had a gingerbread cookie. So I gotta make that happen. What is your favorite holiday movie? That's easy, um, Home Alone. It's always gonna be Home Alone. I'm laughing because I'm thinking about it in my head. And I actually like Lost in New York better. I just, I don't know, it was just funnier. And he was balling in New York so I like that one a lot better. That's my favorite Christmas movie. I watch it every year. I have not yet watched it, but I'm sure I will. 15, ugliest Christmas decor you owned. Uh, You know, when I was a kid, I didn't really like the tassel thrown on the tree, the silver, you know, I like to do it, but now that I'm an adult and think about that, like, I don't like that. I'm more of a simple Christmas tree person. And then like probably people would say like my pajamas because I like Christmas pajamas, like the Grinch that I have on right now. So, you know, some of the pajamas are kind of like corny and goofy, but I mean, I like to dress up, you know? I like to feel Christmassy, so. Oh, and I have um, an ugly Christmas sweater. I mean, I guess that's the ugliest Christmas decor or thing that I've owned as teen. The toughest person to buy a gift. Mmm. I would probably say, you know, actually all my family members are kind of hard, to be honest. But I, probably my sister because even though I feel like she's gonna appreciate anything just because that's how she is, I just feel like I don't know exactly what to get her because She's like so worried about the kids. So most of the time I do just end up buying a lot for the kids. And I feel like if I get her something I would like, it's like not gonna have the same, you know, she won't have the same interest in it cause we're a lot different. But yeah. And I think most of my family members would say I'm the hardest to buy a gift, but I do appreciate everything. So <laughs> I, I can understand why they would feel that way though, because I do, you know, I buy a lot for myself anyway, so I don't know. But yeah, I would probably say my sister. 
What are you most grateful for this holiday season? Oh my gosh, okay, so this holiday season, it's different because you watch people lose so much this year because I don't wanna get all sentimental. But I'm just saying like, with COVID and everything, like it's a different year for everybody. So I also am gonna try to give a lot more this year because I'm just thankful that I'm in the position to where I'm able to give my family gifts and hard times didn't really, you know, affect us. So I'm just grateful that we're still like, able to be just living our lives normally and being able to have Christmas and give to each other and also still have a lot to give to other people. And we're also healthy, not just financially, you know, we're healthy, so yeah. Share one vivid Christmas memory, good or bad. Okay, um, mm, okay, I'm trying to think of it right now because I did not look at these questions prior, I mean, after I wrote them down, but, um, a Christmas memory. Just my parents miraculously able to fill our tree up with gifts. Like, now that I'm an adult, I know that they weren't in like the best position financially, but they weren't like broke, but you know what I mean? Like now I be trying to like, I'll go through my mind and try to figure out like, how do they always like pull this off? Like right at Christmas, do you know what I mean? Cause some, Actually, I do remember also like how I have my tree up like extra early. My sister for her kids, she has her tree up November. Like I remember like we would always have a real tree, but we would get it like <laughs> literally maybe the week of Christmas. So, you know, we would get it like then and there would be like nothing under it. It would be a decorated tree. But then when you wake up, it's like a bunch of gifts under there. So that's my memories. There would be nothing under it. But when you wake up, there was a bunch of gifts, so. Team favorite or least favorite Christmas song? <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bell rock. No, I'm playing. Um, that just makes me think of Mean Girls, but I don't know. Probably the Mariah Carey, All I Want For Christmas Is You, just because I remember hearing that as like a kid too, and I still hear it all the time. And then, um, I love Destiny's Child, um, Christmas, and I don't really have a least favorite song. I mean, they're all pretty corny, so. <laughs> 20, if you could travel anywhere for Christmas, where would you go? I would just pick somewhere on my travel list. Yes, I have a travel list because I like to see where I wanna go. I like to check it off when I go. So it would be somewhere on my travel list and, um, just off the top of my head, um, Greece. Maybe Greece for Christmas? Mm. Let's put it in the atmosphere. The only thing about putting a candy cane in your drink, it literally just disintegrates into your drink. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in there. <laughs> Most memorable thing that's happened since last Christmas. Since last Christmas, um, I got my condo is like completely different inside. So I didn't even decorate last Christmas because there was work being done. So yeah, that's what's changed since last Christmas, my living room. <laughs> and you guys, I will be doing a full condo tour when everything is done. So stay tuned for that. I still have a lot of stuff that I still need to do and furniture that I wanna buy. So yeah, that'll be coming later. 22, least favorite item on Christmas to-do list. It goes right back to the decorating. I hate to take all the decorations down. I like to leave the decorations up for as long as I can because I like how it looks. It just gives a change to my place. And um, I just don't like to take it down, like pack it up, put it down in my storage, box it up, and you have to like figure out how to fit it all back and not break anything. So yeah, I'm already dreading that. Let me not even think about that. Let me just live in the moment and enjoy the decorations. Okay, so now we're on our last three questions. Would you rather have snow or no snow on Christmas? I have had snow and no snow, but I do appreciate no snow. Um, more so as a kid though, because you know when you get like new stuff, like a bike or skates or something, you wanna go outside and play with it. So if you were in the, if we were in the snow, like we wouldn't be using any of that. But I do like the snow like as an adult. So um, 
As a kid, no snow. As an adult, I could do either or. I'm a Cali girl, so no snow is what I'm used to. If you can receive a gift card to any store you wanted as a gift, what store would you choose? That is so easy. Target, because everything I need is at Target. And yeah, definitely, Target. I mean, I wish this was like real life because I would love a gift card to Target. Um, 25, favorite character from Christmas book or movie? That's easy, The Grinch, okay? And also a little fun fact about me, I played The Grinch in my elementary school play, so. You're a mean one. No, I was playing. But that was the last question, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you.